Morning guys, um, as you might be able to hear it's a bit of a miserable Sunday morning so what I thought I'd do is I'd do a quick video. Um, on my silver discovery I've got a problem with the rear airbag key going down or the rear suspension key going down and I believe it's uh, an airbag because uh, the airbags on these are serviceable parts and they've been on about four years now so uh, I'm going to change a bit so what I'll do is I'll show you a quick video just to show you how I change, it might not be the way other people change, but uh, the way I change them. Um, I don't know whether you know, but on the Discovery, the the TD5s, the rear suspension on is there. And how that works is you've got a, a small ECU called the Slab Control Unit, uh, which is a self-leveling unit. And on the rear of each suspension leg, well, I'll show you, there's a sensor which detects on the height the rear suspension is. And that... the um, determines how much air the compressor puts in each spring to level the rear of the car up. So the reason I keep it on air, a lot of people confirm the springs, but there are a lot of reasons I keep this on air is because um, when I put my caravan to tow the caravan, the suspension on the pumps itself up to level itself up, so you haven't got that back end drag on them. So what I'll do is I'll get the car jacked up um, and I'll show you how that I jack using two jacks because you need to jack the rear of the car to clear the airbag and also you need to then put another jack under the rear axle so you can lower the rear axle down to remove the airbags to replace with a new one so I'll show you step by step and uh, we'll see how we go through from there Well, I don't know if you can see there, I've put one jack under the tow bar to lift the rear end of the car up and then I've stuck another jack under the rear axle on the diff unit to take the rear wheels off the ground so that I can get the wheels off and then when we disconnect the airbags we can lower the rear axle down to change the airbags and then we can jack that back up so uh, I'll get the wheels off and we'll go from there got the wheel off now and as I was saying to you about the um, there's a rear height sensor on the rear that's this piece here which tells the slab unit how at what position the rear the rear suspension is so whether it increases or decreases depending on what it needs and it's all done by uh, compressed air on a little tiny onboard compressor and just scoot you over this is the airbag this thing here, the light's not very good, I do apologise. This is the airbag, so that's what we're going to change, one on each side. And what we've got to do is, if you look at the top there, you can see a little air valve coming in, um, in there. So we'll disconnect that, deflate the rear suspension unit, and we'll change the airbags. The only, the only thing the airbags are held on with is two little, two little clips. All the, air, all the air bag is held in with is two little spring clips, which they, I don't know if you can see that one there. Zoom it in a little bit more. It's a little spring clip there. And then there's one on, on the other side, just to hold it in, you can see. So we'll unplug this to release the air pressure in the, in the bag. And then that'll collapse the air out of it. And then take the spring clips off then that'll be a case of um, the way this, the bag is connected at the bottom is just long like a bayonet fit so we'll just end up spinning the bag off to disconnect it but um, I'll move the camera back and I'll show you as I take it out alright so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to release the pressure in the airbag and the way I normally do that is pair of pliers onto the hose right, actually I could just pull the hose it's like a little push fitting, so you have to push the fitting in and then pull the hose out at the same time. Just 
like that. So that's the pressure out of the airbag. Both sides are independent, so only one side will go down. Um, on the principle that if you get a failed airbag, that your suspension doesn't collapse altogether. So, um, what I'll do now is I'll take the clips off, which are just little spring clips, like I say. So, it's just a case of getting them off. There's one. second one and then it should just collapse down like that and all you got to do is turn it um, I believe it's uh, anti-clockwise just to rotate it to disconnect it from the bottom bayonet and it should it should come off and as you can see on the bottom it's just on like a bayonet fitting so uh, yeah, what all they are is just like a canvas, a canvas bag, and what happens is where they fold up on themselves, grit off the road gets in them, and they just gently rub, rub on them, and then obviously cause little tiny pinprick air holes, and they only go down when they're parked in specific positions. So if you get them where the overhang of the bag is covering the hole, they won't collapse. But um, what I'll do is I'll get a wire brush and clean all the framing that up and then we'll get the new bag in. going to put a little bit of copper slip where the bag goes on just basically to protect the chassis I don't want to stick it in the top there because That'll be a dirt tractor really, where all the dirt comes straight off the road wheel. So this is a replacement bag. It's slightly different now, they've got like a rubber coating over them. So um, yeah, they look a little bit more durable, so hopefully they'll be a little bit better. So again, replacement is basically the reverse of taking out, so locate our bayonet fitting onto the chassis. I'll just show you on where the chassis is. I don't know if you can see that. No, look at the wrong place. It's a bit of a job to get where I'm looking with the hammer. There you go, that's where it fits into. That's the female side of the bayonet connection. So we just locate it on that and then give it a 390 degree turn. So what I'm gonna do is, if you look at the pins, the two pins are further forward to the front than they are the back and then obviously that gives you your di directional for your air valve as well so push it in, locate it, rotate it and then that I think what I'll do is I'll jack the rear suspension up to compensate to push that back up in place because I don't really want to stretch that until that inflates itself and as you can see that's moved a little bit on the chassis the way the car's been jacked up. So I'll just get a little jack and jack this side up a little bit. Right. All right, we're located in now. New spring clips. Slide that on. Just gently push that in place. I just want a little bit of persuasion.
So it's that one. And what you'll find is, until the other one's usually inflated, the other one's usually a bit of a job to get on, but we may be able to get it on. So. got no weight on it but we've started it so what I'll do is when we inflate it that'll push it up tight against the bed and then we'll be able to um, finish that one off so what I'll do is I'll stick the stand back under here so we can take this jack out Now we've got to put our airline back in. Let's clean it in, make sure there's no crap on it. It's just a push fit, so it just pushes in like that. Just pull it back, make sure it's secure. And that's basically it, how to change your rear airbag. Um, like I say, nothing too technical. What I'll do is I'll do the other side in the same procedure, and then I'll come back and show you when we start the car up how to um, reinflate it. Because obviously if I just let the wheels go down, it's going to extend itself like this one is. And then possibly when they inflate, they kink and twist. So um, I'll get the other side done and then I'll come back and show you when we start the car up. Right guys, I've done the other side. And I've managed to get that clip on now, so that's all done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wheel back on. And remove the jack from the rear put under this wishbone or rear axle and then we'll inflate and hopefully it won't twist so we'll get the wheel back on and see what happens Zipped up with the air gun. Let's move it so you can see a bit better. Zipped up with the air gun, and then I'll um, I'll talk him up once we get the car back on the ground. So uh, I'll move you back now, and then we'll move the jack out the back. All right. What I've done is I've got both the wheels back on the ground now. So I'll let this down. So it's a we're roughly just below where the right height would be. So then when we turn the ignition on, we'll run the car up, it should sense that that's below ride height and inflate itself. Right, so that should be just about below ride height. So what I'll do is I'll start the car up and it should start to inflate itself.
what I'll do on these they've got a high ride setting so to make sure the bag's expanding and contracting properly and the sensors are still working correctly because obviously it's been jacked up I'll put it on the high rise you'll see it rise about 50 mil and then we'll leave it for a few seconds and then um, I'll decrease it and that should drop back down to ride height so just to test it basically make sure everything's still going okay okay So as you can see now it's going up and once it gets to 50 mil higher than ride height it should stop and basically it's just to make sure that the airbags are expanding and then contracting correctly to to refold themselves so uh, so I'll leave that for a few seconds and then I'll decrease it and then I'll drop back down to ride height and uh, that should be the job done. Just torque the wheels up and uh, she's ready to go again. So it should now go back down to ride height. As you can see it's now dropping back down. I might go down a little bit too far and pump itself back up to get this level properly but that's the way they are. So I just get the torque wrench and torque the wheels up. Alright guys, that's um, how you change, or how I change uh, airbags on a Discovery TD5. Um, I know there's several other ways of doing it, but that's the easiest one I find. As you can see, it's not very, it doesn't take very long to do, but they're, in, uh, they're an accessory that you obviously need, because if not, uh, if you let them keep going down and your compressor's working all the time, you end up burning your compressor out. Um, which is the most expensive part. So um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed and I uh, hope it's been, uh, helps anybody. If it does help anybody, let us know. That'd be great. So uh, take care, I'll speak to you soon.